Oh my god, look how many infantry man. Yeah, more setting up. More setting up. Quick, 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 quick. Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here, and we are back with Court Arms Gates for Ostfront, and we are here once again with the Fala campaign for Japan, the Imperial Army, and we're on day two with the amazing Mr. Quicksilver. How are you doing, sir? Hey guys, I'm doing great, thank you very much. So, we'll just go quickly through our research, and once again, this is the Imperial Army of Japan, we are the elite forces of our God Emperor. So we did unlock... The rifles, the regular squad, which is our kind of standard infantry, think kind of German the riflemen or grenadiers, and we also unlocked what did we unlock? Uh, we unlocked small defenses. Small defenses. Thank you, thank you. I completely forgot to the blank. So we'll go straight into deployment. Wave one. We've got the two captured three-inch mortars from the first match. We have two medical teams. We have two Type ninety-seven and tank rifles. They were pretty damn good, as you saw. Mister Quicksilver made good effect tearing through infantry with them. And wave two, we have three regular squads. These are your kind of standard Imperial Army troops. Um, some really cool names as well, like Japanese names. And they also have an LMG, which is fantastic. That is the Type 99 MG, I think, kind of brain gun, but looks a bit cooler. And we've got three squads of them, and we're on the defense. It's two star risk, 200 manpower, 100 munitions and research. We're fighting the United States, uh, your own people, Mr. Silver. Well, be less bonsai and more pew pew. Okay. <laughs> and we are fighting on Dubovka, which is that really cool defensive map. So I'm pretty excited for this one. I think we'll do fine. How are you feeling, Silver? Feeling good. Just have to watch out for those M1 Grands. Well, M1 Grands are no match for the glorious steel of our Emperor, and we'll see you in combat in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are in combat, and Mr. Silver is here, and we're just going to split forces up. Got to make sure I give them to him, not to the AI. That is something to check. That would be terrible. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, I've done it before, and they, they made good use of sitting a tiger tank in the spawn forever. Oh, so, God. Mr. Silver's going to take A, because he is uh, the Supreme Commander, he needs the most vital point, and I'm going to B, because I'm nothing but a peasant of the Grand Emperor. Number A. <laughs> Number A. But this is an awesome map, by the way. We have point A on this night, beautiful hill, kind of like a command post. And we have point B, which is another fortified position. And actually, point B was um, when I played Conquest Enhanced, my first defense point, an anti aircraft gun here basically saved me against about 300 infantry. There you go. So, Conquest Enhanced be freaking insane. So, I'm going to give you one and a half squads. Is that cool, dude? Yep. I'll try and give you. So, there we go. Oh, we got it. I'll give you. You can have two MGs because I like you. You're a cool guy. Ah, uh, facts. And once again, everyone, go to Quicksilver's channel. There's going to be links in the uh, description of the video. Go to his channel. Really good stuff. Lots of us awesome. from. There's also Dreadnought, I believe. Yeah, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Which is awesome. Like Many of you will know Darth Vegan as well through the channel, through the Discord. Quicksilver kind of reminds me of him with the channel. Lots of good historical games. And also, like, his Ostrom awesome series. I'm talking hour long combat. I mean, I mean, I mean, serious. Like, hour long tooth and nail back and forth kills fest it's really really good stuff so go over there subscribe and be a fool not to i will hunt you down and kill you if you don't in a nice way you just think we're the same because <laughs> we're both american <laughs> well actually no because the dark vegan has a voice like audible chocolate i have to say his his voice is like you know a southern voice oh yeah he's he's got the good southern voice yeah, because every time when I spoke to him, I said, oh, could you just say these things for me? He's like, what are you doing to him? Like, I'm basically using your voice as a... <laughs> 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 but he, he, yeah, because he says, oh, I like the British accent. I'm like, no. You, to be fair, people don't realise the American accent does really well in other countries. Like, people seem to think Americans aren't wanted, but your accent is, like, probably the cleanest understood one, I think. So the reason you co-op with Americans is so you can record their voice. Yes, I am basically Grand Theft Auto, your voice. Got it. Well, now we have it. Yeah. But it's weird, I find that whenever you're in another country, everyone says they like your accent. Like, I hate my own accent, but everyone goes, oh, no, we love the British accent. I'm like, I guess it's just because we're used to it. Oh, right. Yeah, my niece, yeah. she's in England, and she's like, oh, your accent's so cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> you're like, okay. But yeah, I think, um, especially up here as well, like, East Midlands is kind of middle of the road for accents is nothing particularly interesting but like you've got the really cool scottish accents and got down south are a bit posher like they're more distinct i'd say yeah 
Well, I mean, England's like the United States. Just wherever you go, there's a different accent. Yeah, I, I remember um, reading about something. They're like, a, was it Puritans who went over to the US? Yep. So or like the, they were basically saying, yeah, yeah, they were basically saying that's why the accents are so different because the original accents from England that they were the Americans may, might actually have some accents that are actually closer to the original English accent because obviously they literally came over hundreds of years ago and some of those communities never kind of mixed for a long time. So some of your accents might actually be more traditional than some of ours, which is kind of strange to think about. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, uh... it sounds odd, but it, it does make sense because you like you have some communities that went over there and literally was out on the frontier for hundreds of years and never mixed with anyone else. So their accent was like really well perfected. Right. Oh, that's scary See, to think, though. Oh, yeah. Like, I've got to say, the American frontier, when people like, America never built anything. They definitely did because the, the frontier was just horrendous. Hey, we built the railroad. Well, the oh, no. Chinese America, built like, a railroad. When people like, oh, the, the pilgrims came over and everything was, but no, really. Well, just watch The Revenant. If you just want to see what the hell the frontier was, watch The Revenant, and that's a film. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. I, I actually haven't seen that one. It's on the uh, to watch list. What's even more funny? The real life story is even it, so it, oh, no spoilers. But in the film, basically, someone dies and he avenges them. In the actual real life, he literally survives a bear attack and crosses like hundreds of miles just to get his rifle back, not to avenge someone, just because he wants his rifle back. Oh boy! That's and the, the awesome. dude was like a pro yeah, like the actual story is more brutal. And then I'm just going to say the American kind of frontiers were just next levels. Like, oh my god, just now, I'd rather not. I live right on its doorstep. Oh, dear. Yeah, I just look outside and there's the mountains. So you're near the, is that Appa, Alla, Appalachia Mountains, is it? Uh, no, the uh, Rocky Mountains. The Rocky, right. Oh. I do, I kind of love how America's got every biome, like, such a big, like, like you obviously have the massive forests up north and you have the desert, you have Alaska, like, you basically have everything and you also have deserts, don't you, I believe? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yep, crazy. Have everything. Oh yeah, I need to do that. I always forget that you can put the tent up with the medic. Yes. Sorry, I've been I've been yabbing all about like geography and history and accents. So it's just cause um, I do go on some tangents of complete nonsense. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, I am not sure I think my defense is terrible. I need a No, you've got a good all round defense. I've kind of gone very heavy to the east, but if they do push from the if they push from the north, I will be Massively surprised. I don't think they've got to come from the south, northeast. I'd say east. But what AI do we have? Have we got like elite? We have um, oh, we've got SNLFM soldiers down here. They're the elite, aren't they? The Shanghai Group yep. regiment. I have Look a this guy. Imperial Japanese Takuma Kaikon agent. Yeah, it's probably the guy there. with the bushes with the uh, banana clip and the bayonet. Oh yeah, that is the thumbnail just there. That is awesome. I gotta say, Valor's done like this mod doesn't really get touched much, much, much should I say, but it's like really good from the get go. All right, when will the Americans come? Late as always. Normally about seven minute ish defense wise, but um, <laughs> late as always, and the M4 Germans turn up and we just panic and fear. I'm right. feeling these mortars are going to be northeast. Got 60 standard rounds. Northeast. That's not too bad, actually. That's going to be good. I've got me in the firing line. I'm going to. I might need to reposition some men. My AT oh, going to boy, yeah. keep on hold. Oh, what we got there? I think Just, I'm. Oh, they're in the... I think I'll reposition my uh, mortar. Even better. They've only got. Is it the Springfield rifle, which is the bolt action one? I. Yeah, yes. I think so. Yeah. So they haven't got the M1 Garand, which is a quite nice for us. Oh my god, he just Thompson someone straight off the bat. Mortar's going to start chipping in straight away, I think. Oh, he's just out of range. I'm going to have to move a little bit closer. Oh! Something just exploded there. Um, is that the AT rifle? Oh, yeah, got the AT rifle. Oh my god, look how many infantry there are. Yeah, Mortar's setting up. Mortar's out. Quick, 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 quick. I'm actually going to tell my guys just to hit the deck and kind of bring them in close to us. Right, start smashing. There we are, the mortar's coming in. This could be epic. Come on, mortar. Don't let me down. Oh, they've got a AT gunner, an artillery piece, I think. It's probably a 75, 75 millimeter. Yeah. 
yet. Ooh, mortar's hitting now. That's fantastic. All right. Feel I'm... free to uh, push up. Oh my Christ! Yeah, I'm. <laughs> that mortar just got about eight, ten kills in one shot. So I'll reposition some awesome. forces. Yeah, copy that. That once these troops have kind of trimmed down a bit, I will um, send some forces to go for the seventy-five milli. Let's see. Put you here. Cover that angle. Right. We're summoning some troops. So that was um. It's been pretty effective though at killing them. Like they've done a lot of damage already. There you go, guys. Start chipping in. You guys there. I think I'll sort of right cover your over. right flank. Over that we have a. What the hell is that? Mortar. Oh, we've got a light mortar there. Yep. yep. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'll bonsai that. Bonsai. All right. So if, where's your mortar? Uh, oop. My mortar's just down here, dude. They just hit something of yours. Ooh. I think they hit some infantry. Uh, oh, they hit the trench, but I've got a guy getting very close to Bonsai. What the hell is that backing it up? 75. I'll copy that. I'm going to go for the mortar. Oh, oh no, no. It saw you. Well. Um. Okay, so. I can move some more guys around. What do yeah, I have to? Okay, we're, um, we're taking a few hits, but nothing too bad. I'm going to bring AT gun back a little bit, just for safety's sake. Uh, I've got a guy moving up to engage that um that seventy five. I'm just gonna bonsai. I'm gonna bonsai two guys actually because it's worth it. Um, to be fair though, we killed a lot of infantry on that push, which is good. Yeah. I'm gonna move my mortar back to the main point, and I've got a couple of oh, he needs healing. And these guys are rushing up. Whoa! Don't get contacted. Right, grenade that seventy five milli. I'm taking control of this guy. Oh, he's got an SMG. Sweet. Oh, he's still alive. Reload, reload, reload. Reload! Oh, you got the grenade off. Even though he yeah, went down. Mortar's down. Another grenade. Let's do it. Nice. 75 is down. Nice. Oh, SMG's for the win. I think you got it all, but there's an infantry squad on the income. Look at that. Right. I'll Let's die a hero see. of the Emperor. For the Emperor! So, I don't oh, th oh. think I need to protect my objective much. Yeah. They are down, but that's all right now. They've lost the mortar and they're. Um... I'm gonna have to reposition my mortar once again because there's just a horde. That is like fighting the orcs or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were supposed to be the, oh. the bonsai. They've got a 75 millimeter over there, I think, as well. So you just yeah. launched in. That's all right though. The mortar will um, let's bring them in. If you want to bring your mortar over, dude, yeah, just feel free to um. Yeah, I have it. Stack those just guys. behind your. Line, I don't really Ooh, know what lovely. to put. Yeah. That's fantastic. Really yeah. This mortar wants it. Oh my Christ, he's got the right to chuck those grenades. Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my mortar next to you. Oh, that is a lot of kills. I'm just chucking grenades first to my guys, because this is a swarm. Let's see, can I... Oh, keep hitting, keep hitting, keep hitting. Stay down, kill. Yeah, there we go, lots of kills. I may have to pull my mortar back, actually, because they're about to over in this position. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm mean, hold him where he is. That's fine, just stay where you are. Don't kill off the troops that get through. Keep fighting, keep fighting, man. Oh no, that guy got through. Well, you can't let a single one get through. Uh... Oh, he's getting a little bit close. I've got a man in with a pistol with a rifle. Move up some. Ah, shoot, I lost my mortar. I got through. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I killed the guy after. Nah, all good. I'll move up. Holy Christ, like, this is a hell of an infantry wave from the US here. Yeah, oh, I don't know that how much. Milli's taking chunks out of our guys. Not sure how much I'm he helping over here. He's down here, I'm pushing there. Mortar's still kicking ass, which is great. Still not, not even halfway through his ammo, so that's fantastic. Right, recruiting my mortar. Watch it! Oh, watch the Americans get blown to bits by the Japanese. It's a bit of a change of pace from World War Two. <laughs> right. Oh, they are getting a little bit close there. I'm gonna take control of this guy. Oh, the rifles are actually pretty good for the Japanese. I'm gonna give them that. Yeah. Our separate rifles. I, I, oh, that's some cyberpunk, isn't it? Arisaka. There's a uh, what is that? Thirty-seven mil. Copy that. Oh, that's fantastic. Once these infantry have finished off, my medics should be able to heal this last guy. We should be able to push that um, 75mm they've got up to the north. Yep, I'm trying to work around the flank. 
Oh, I like how you've dug all the troops in there, though. I just noticed that's fantastic. That's a really good, um, got kind of a nice firing line there. Oh, we've got a vehicle. Just a jeep, though. Do I see it? Where's he gone? Um, just there. Right there, yep. Try and hit him through, firing through the things. Oh, got it. Yeah, we, we, we hit the driver, I believe. What can I do here? A 37 oh. millimeters causing issues. Right, the Jeep is... should be down actually, we're trying high explosive rounds. Mortar's still chipping away. Um, get this guy back. Ooh, there's a lot in the middle there. Okay, oh nice shot. Yeah, this is a hell of a uh, wave. But we still have the fallback objective at least as well. I think we have a little bit of a layered defense too, which Whoa. is quite nice. Yeah, this is a... Oh, we'll put some more stuff. We are slaughtering their infantry though, they have lost a ton of men. Alright, automatic rifle, a AT rifle, open fire. Fire it will, fire it will. Oh my Christ. I'm trying to flank Keep. around that 37. Copy that, good luck. Well, the 20, 20 mil rifle is just elite. Yeah. I'm gonna reset him up on this hill and just get into. It's like we have a nice sort of crossfire there. Yeah, I'm glad we kept these mortars because my god, they, I knew mortars are good, but I didn't really expect the US to send. They spent basically about two, three companies already. That is so much infantry over there. Oh yeah. I'm basically lost most of my men, but for the amount of people we've killed, I think that's not a bad trade-off. Yep. I have my mortars still they're... going off. Yeah, they're, they're mortaring the back, which is kind of funny. Yeah, my flank maneuver Ooh. is not quite what I want it to be. I'm going to bring my AT rifle over to your guys, because um, it's a bit risky being on the point that it's mortared. Oh, yeah. we just hit... Let me just blow up there. Um, oh, I think that three... That was a... Was that the 3.7? I think so. Yeah, it's just popped, so it's fully gone. I think they still stupid. have a mortar... And I think they're and fixing the up the 75. I think I can I push mean, with two guys. I'm going, yeah, I'm going left flank because this guy only has a pistol left, so he could be a suicide man. Oh, that's a lot of infantry out there. Yeah, it's a full... full oh, maybe three or four men. Oh, no. Yeah, it might be more. But my god, like, that is a ton of troops for the first defense. I know they normally send quite a bit, but that's a bit, a bit crazy. I'm going to find the 75 wonder... million credit with a pistol. John Wick style. Oh, uh, that is... A lot of troops? Yeah, not sure I'll win this firefight. Okay, we'll take Tracking time. smoke. No Mortars are going to shoot back in. I swear they... Oh, they found the uh, gun down here, good sir. Nice. I wonder if I can... Oh, yes! Oh! What is that? Time. Uh, can we hit that? Hit it, hit it, hit it! Right there. Yes, I cleared him out. Alright, I'm gonna jump on their howitzer. Got their emplacement. Okay. It's a 75mm kind of a field gun, so this should be um, interesting. I never expect a sneaky Japanese from behind. Let's try that. Oh, jeez, they have. Quite is that troops. a bar? Oh yeah, they'll have BARs in the, uh, I think it's the National Guard squad, is it? I'm gonna hit that, um, I'm gonna try and decrew that gun if that's alright. Yep, that's fine. Oh, my mortar was taken there, out. There you go, they're off, I think. Oh, your mortar's taken out, damn. Well, recrewing it. Right, so the Harrods is decrewed, so I'll try and decrew the mortar so we can capture it. Just there. Oh! Oh Steve no! Rude. Oh, does do another go? Yep, right. Oh right there. yeah. Well, luckily we've stole this one because they don't seem to be noticing mine. They're like, oh, a lot of friendly fire today. <laughs> Three, two, one, fire, and he's down. Cool. So, just I'll actually put him on hold fire for now, just so he doesn't cross fire too much. And that should be most of their stuff gone. Oh, medic. Medic. Medic! Right. 
I think um, a guy with a Thompson just overran the trench. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, I'm pretty much down on them, but I think considering how many we fought, that's not too bad. Yeah, I I didn't lose too many. I'm just actually what I'll do is if you're able to recruit most of the weapons, because that way we won't lose the entire squads for um, you know rebuilding them. Yeah. I think. But um, there's a Jeep, there's like two more howitzers and a mortar, so quite a lot of stuff we could probably capture or sell for more glorious Japanese things. Absolutely. I'll I'll go grab a bunch. Awesome, awesome. Right, as you can see the there, Quicksilver with the fantastic firing line there. As you can see, everyone, superior strategy here, a mixture of Alexander the Great, Dermal Patton, and General Lee all combined. That's three, but there's only two of us. No, that's just you. Oh, General okay, three. yeah. I am, um, I am more like General praise. Custer, where I take men onto a hill and say, ah, there can't be that many. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> Good old Custer. Take that was hill. It two, was it 211 against 2,000 plus? I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm Montgomery, a little too slow and uh, methodical. Useless. <laughs> well, Montgomery, what we'll do is, we'll call it Operation Market Garden. The Germans obviously won't have anything in these areas. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, British command was awful. I don't care anyone says we have good troops, we have horrible plans. Yep. So there's actually going to be a paratrooper drop during the invasion of Iraq, but the uh, I believe it was the US Marines beat the paratroopers to the airfield because the Iraqis had just abandoned it. Yep. So the paratroopers were really good because they were going to get like a full-on combat drop, the first one since, I think, like the first proper one since World War II, and then the US Marines were just like, nope, we drove into it. <laughs> Alright, I think I can just capture this just, Jeep. Yeah. yeah, 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 I think it's fully... It's, what's it on there? Just the... Oh, it's only got 30 caliber, that's not too bad. Yeah, Browning, probably. Oh, Springfield? That's not bad, actually. Oh, no, Browning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good gun, though, Faker. Huh? And now we just got to. Uh, well, this will be down to the salvage phase in the uh, timestamps, but just gotta wait for it to tick up. I've noticed in the mods, the, the, the you know, normally, like when you wipe out the stuff, you get like bumps where you destroy equipment and stuff. Oh, yeah, we haven't won yet. Yeah, in, in the mods, it's like it's just the slow tick, so it doesn't matter if you. Because normally, you know, like when you're 20 points short and you blow up a tank and it just jumps over. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't get that with the mods of farm. But to be fair, that's fair because the defense should really take twenty five to thirty minutes, which no, not ideal for everyone. But you shouldn't be able to just get out of it because you killed one tank out of five. Like if there's a king tiger coming to you, you should have to deal with it. But right, which uh, doesn't bode well for actually it does bode well because the Germans are on our side. Yeah, hey, Axis. Oh yeah, the two AT rifles on the hill over here are great. Oh, they're both on the same point? Yep. Oh, I'm going to get a thumbnail of that then. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. I'm liking the... Um, they're very camouflaged as well. Yeah. That is awesome. Interesting that the uh, Japanese uniforms work on the Eastern Front. Yeah, they work very well. I guess they did fight in Manchuria before, didn't they? Yeah. There's a very good film, I can't remember, someone showed sent me a clip, it's literally like, so, you know, the Japanese and the Soviets fight in that early phase, and the Japanese are there, and this is before the Soviets had, like, any combined arm tactics, and the lists are just sending BT tanks in swarms, and the Japanese are just, like, running forward, and soldiers strapped with explosives are going underneath it, and then the Japanese destroy, like, 20 tanks, like, yeah, and then all of a sudden the Soviets send, like, another wave of about 50. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they, but, they destroyed the first wave. Here's the second wave. Yeah, but but it's just so funny because the Soviets are just sending the tanks. It's like that can't be true. They're red up in this. Like yeah, the early early Soviet tactics were just like tanks don't need support. <laughs> yeah, oh, crazy. But I got I got a bit to the Japanese. They were they were effective. Say they like had very limited resources. They they held out a lot longer than I think everyone expected. But they were hard to dig out. I mean, they literally fought yeah. to the last man. Well, there was guys finding like 1980s still fighting. Yeah. Did you hear about him? Like, he thought the war was awesome. still on. I, I remember thinking about one guy and he went to Japan and he's like, yeah, we, we didn't get wiped out completely. And he's like, the soul of the nation's gone. We were like a warrior class. And he's like, I would have rather just stayed in the forest fighting the war. I was like, oh man. Uh, but I've got to admit, that, that is loyalty when it's like 30 years later and they find you like killing random hikers in some forest. Like, I'm still fighting <laughs> World War II. It's like, it's over. No, it's not. Well, what are we supposed to say to this dude? <laughs> yeah. 
Um, literally get the Japanese emperor at the time to come along. Like, can we just borrow you to get right. down one of technically one of your soldiers? All right. Yeah. Tell him. Uh, so something happened, and we <laughs> surrendered. And here we are at the rearmament screen. So we've got 555.8 manpower, 1.2 sport stars, 125 munitions, and 6.2 research points. So I think that was a fantastic match on your part, Silver. Yeah, I um, I, I killed a couple guys while you uh, killed the rest, and or all of them. Well, I think um, you basically saved us, though. I did lose most of my men, so I'm guessing we're going to dump the jeep straight away, yeah? Yeah, we don't need a jeep. What are do you want to keep one of? Do you want to keep any of the seventy-five millimeter houses that we claimed? It's tempting, definitely tempting. Not all uh, three, but well, um, we'll dump, we'll dump two, shall we? Because they're quite viable. We yeah, sixty points each from. Uh, we still have two mortars, so should we dump the third mortar we got? Yeah. And thirty-seven millimeter gun, should we get rid? Yeah, we can, we can get better for easy. Yeah. So we can recruit our entire force for 206 manpower, 3 and 75 munitions, so we'll do that. That sounds leaves nice. us with just shy of 1300 manpower, we have 7.2 research points and 1100 munitions, so that's a fantastic bank or war, war chest for the next match. So we will see you on the next one, that's goodbye from me. Until next time. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below.